temperature will warm up in the seven day. That's coming your way in just a bit. Tonight, we are digging deeper into evidence presented in court against a man accused of murder in Harrisburg. The Saline County judge found enough probable cause to advance the case to the next stage. News 3's Danny Valle explores some of the first pieces of evidence presented by the prosecution against Alexander McWilliam. When Michelle Meredith went missing in March, it was reported she was last seen leaving her home. But according to Tuesday's testimony, that was all a lie embellished by her friend under duress of Alexander McWilliam, who threatened to take her life if she didn't comply with his demands. Saline County State's Attorney Molly Wilson Kazier called Illinois State Police Sergeant Jason Cope to the stand in Tuesday's preliminary hearing. Cope testified that a female witness invited McWilliam and Meredith to her home in Harrisburg on the night of March 13th. Cope says the woman witnessed McWilliam being angry at Meredith for allegedly rolling her eyes at him. When Meredith denied it, McWilliam took out a gun and shot Meredith on a couch, according to testimony. Cope said McWilliam threatened to kill the lone witness unless she helped cover up the crime. He says McWilliam and the woman placed Meredith's body in two trash bags and put her in the trunk of the woman's vehicle. They then drove north on Route 45 and made a right onto Dewey Road, where they eventually crossed into the gravel back roads of Gallatin County, according to Cope. When they got to North Pool Lane, McWilliam dumped Meredith's body in a cornfield, 100 yards from the road, Cope said. Then they went back to town, cleaned up the home, and dumped evidence across Saline County. Police recovered a gun allegedly used to kill Meredith at the Paul Emery Park Fountain. McWilliam's attorney, Alan Rowe, questioned Cope about several details in the case, including dates, times, the car used to transport Meredith's body, and if investigators were using social media to comb for clues. Cope said he couldn't answer most questions because he was one of many investigators on the case, but said, we've got enough. Here in Harrisburg, Danny Valle, News 3. Thank you, Danny. If convicted, McWilliam faces 25 years to life in prison. The final preliminary hearing is July 9th. A jury trial starts July 21st.